welcome back. This is Brothers in Gaming, and we're here for a creepy episode. We're gonna get a real spooky. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be real scary. Spooky. This is a segment I want to do. So I think it's a fun idea. I'm a big fan of uh, like horror movies and scary stories, creepy pasta on the internet, things like that. And basically, what's gonna happen is Jess is gonna play a video game. I'm going to read some scary stories from the internet. And we're going to get scared. We're going to get scared. Let me tell you. Real scary. Uh, these stories, by the way, are all apparently free to use and whatnot. And uh, I will be crediting the authors at the end of each story, hopefully. They're so scary, we might have a scary warning in the beginning of the video title. That's still up for grabs. I mean, we, yeah, we, we haven't know. decided. Put a little tag in there like, Spook warning. <laughs> Total spook warning. And I'm Total spooked spook already. Warning. This is freaking me out. <laughs> I know. I haven't even started yet. Well, all right. Uh, you can get started in the game wherever you like. And uh, I've, I've got one here. I've never read this one. It is called An Egg. Like eggs. These are cool. I mean, sorry. It was a car accident. Nothing particularly remarkable, but fatal nonetheless. You left behind a wife and two children. It was a painless death. The EMTs tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered, you were better off. Trust me. And that's when you met me. Wait. What happened? You asked. Where am I? You died, I said, matter-of-factly. No point mincing words. There was a truck and it was skidding yep i said i i died yeah i don't feel bad about it everyone dies i said you looked around there was nothingness just you and me what is this place you asked is this the afterlife more or less i said are you god you asked yep i replied I'm God. My kids, my wife, you said. But what about them? Will they be alright? That's what I like to see, I said. You just died and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just looked like some man. Some vague authority figure. More of a grammar school teacher than the Almighty. Don't worry, I said. They'll be fine. Your kids will remember you as perfect in every way. They didn't have to they didn't have time to grow contempt for you. Your wife will cry on the outside, but will be secretly relieved. To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh, you said. So what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither, I said. You'll be reincarnated. Oh, you said. So the Hindus were right? All the religions are right in their own way, I said. Walk with me. You followed along as we strolled in the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular, I said. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So... What's the point, then? You asked. When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby? So all my experiences and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so, I said. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. Pretty fucking smart. <laughs> I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. It's like sticking a finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel, and when you bring it back out, you've gained all the experiences it had. You've been a human for the last 34 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for longer, You'd start remembering everything, but there's no point in doing that between each life. 
How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. Into a lot of different lives, I said. This time, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. Wait, what? You stammered. You're sending me back in time. Well, I have to be a peasant? <laughs> How dare you? I guess, technically, time as you know it only exists in your universe. Things are different where I come from. Where do you come from, you pondered. I don't know. Oh, sure, I explained. I come from somewhere. Somewhere else. There are others like me. I know you'll want to know what it's like there, but you honestly won't understand. Oh, you said, a little let down. But wait, if I get reincarnated to other places in time, could I have interacted with myself at some point? Sure. Happens all the time. And with both lives only aware of their own time span, you don't even know what's happening. So what's the point of it all? Seriously? I asked. Seriously? You're asking me for the meaning of life. Isn't that a little stereotypical? Mm. Well, it's a reasonable question, you persisted. I looked into your eye. The meaning of life, the reason I made this whole universe, is for you to mature. You mean mankind, you want us to mature. No, just you. I made this whole universe for you. With each new life, you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect just me what about everyone else there is no one else I said in this universe there's just you and me you stared blankly at me but all the people on earth all you different incarnations of you wait I'm everyone now you're getting it I said with a congratulatory slap on the back I'm every human who ever lived. Or who will ever live, yes. I'm Abraham Lincoln. And you're John Wilkes Booth, too, I added. I'm Hitler, you said, appalled. And you're the millions he killed. I'm Jesus. And you're everyone who followed him. You felt silent. Every time you victimize someone, I said, you are victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you. Why, you asked me, why do all of this? Because someday you will become like me because that's what you are. You're one of my kind, you're my child. Whoa, you said, incredulous. You mean I'm a god? No, not yet. You're a fetus. You're still growing. Once you've lived every human life throughout all time, you will have grown enough to be born. So the whole universe, you said, it's just an egg of sorts. Now it's time for you to move on to your next life. And with that, I sent you on your way. And that's it. I really like that story. I've actually heard that story before, and I, I enjoy it every single time I hear it. I really enjoy that one. That's the first time I've heard that one. That was good. That was very nice. Uh, that appears to have been written by an Andy Weir. Good job, uh, Andy. That was a great job. I love that story. That's a fucking good one, man. I really liked it. That, Like I said, I've never heard that one. So, uh... Deep story. Boy, really that like was it. kind of a mind fuck there. Was not expecting that. Oh, let me scroll through. Do, 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 do. It's creepy, creepy stuff. Man, these bots are just pretty terrible right now. Are they are they getting shit stomped by you? Absolutely. I only have to do one move. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here's. He was kind of broken, though. Oh boy, this this a long I one. Was. I don't know. I haven't played the six one. So. This is a real. I mean, Soul Calibur three. 
Oh, the shit. That was the first I one I'd ever played. <clears throat> and that one, I truly believe that Key League was just broken in that, that game. There was only a couple of characters that were broken in that one. I'm not gonna do that one. Um. Boy. And the fucked up part about that was, is it's like, the only. The only. Wait, what is this? I have oh, to fight shit. the Maxi? Because you're using my key lick! <laughs> no! Okay, here's. This is a short one, but this is a good one. Oh no, I'm going to lose. Uh, How I've dare heard you this one this before. Mm, yeah, the author is anonymous. I don't know if I want to do this one. And I, I am worried. I like Hila well, too much. I'm going to go for it anyway. Uh, variations of this one have existed for some time. If you're the original author, all the credit goes to you. Uh, if you flag me down, I will give you credit in the video. But I don't know who you are until then. Otherwise, it, it says that it's posted here under uh, the the licensing yeah, to like, redistribute it so we'll go with this one what are those mean? you might have heard this one it's called white with red oh that's what that does oh man this just makes it easy okay <laughs> ready to listen what is it called white with red white with red cool. a man went to a hotel and walked up to the front desk to check in the woman at the desk gave him his key told him that on the way to his room there was a door with no number that was locked and no one was allowed in there. She explained it was a storeroom and that it was out of bounds. She reminded him several times before allowing him upstairs. So he followed the instructions of the woman at the front desk going straight to his room and going to bed. However, the insistence of the woman had piqued his curiosity. So the next night he walked down the hall to the door and tried the handle. Sure enough, it was locked. He bent down and looked through the wide keyhole. Cold air passed through it, chilling his eye. What he saw was a hotel bedroom, like his, and in the corner was a woman whose skin was incredibly pale. She was leaning her head against the wall, facing away from the door. He stared in confusion for a while. Was this a celebrity, the, daughter's, the owner's daughter? He almost knocked on the door, out of curiosity, but decided not to. As he was still looking, the woman turned sharply, and he jumped back from the door, hoping she would not suspect he had been spying on her. He crept away and walked back to his room. The next day he returned to the door and looked through the wide keyhole. This time all he saw was redness. He couldn't make anything out besides a distinct red color. Perhaps the inhabitant of the room knew he'd been spying the night before and had blocked the keyhole. He felt embarrassed that he had made the woman so uncomfortable, and hoped she had not made a complaint with the woman at the front desk. At this point, he decided to consult her for more information. She sighed and said, Did you look through the keyhole? The m man told her that he had, and she said, Well, I might as well tell you the story of what happened in that room. A long time ago, a man murdered his wife in there, and we find that even now, whoever stays there gets very uncomfortable. Those people weren't ordinary. They were white all over, except for their eyes, which were red. Mm. They don't sound nice. Say what? They don't sound nice. That's not good. She was looking back at him. Scary! <laughs> That's a classic, though. I like that one. Again, I, it didn't... Well, that was it? Jesus Christ. Yeah. It didn't say who the author was. Uh, great story. Hit me up. I'll, uh, I'll credit you. Yeah, that oh, would be pretty scary, wouldn't see. it? Yeah, I'd be shitting myself, that's for sure. Would not be a good time. Oh, what's this one? Oh. Don't mind me, I'm just thumbing through here. That was a pretty long one. No. Oh, boy, oh, that's a long one. Mm, no. That might be too long. Did you get wrecked? Their bots are getting better. I think they did that right after I made fun of them, too. That's so they weird. definitely get harder as time goes on. I've played through this a little bit. Oh, let's see. 
I should have had some stuff ready, but I didn't because I procrastinated. Okay, I know how to win this. That's the good thing. I can win this. Just like this. Oh, wait. Why not? Oh, wait. Use my move. Use my move. Okay. Oh, here we go. I got oh, I got man. one. This one. Interesting. No! Um, this one is called Normal Porn for Normal People. Mm. Uh, I'll read the uh, author at the end here. It's a big scroll. Scrolly scroll. Normal porn for normal people. Everybody knows that if you surf the web long enough, you'll see some pretty sick shit. This is especially true if you intentionally dwell into the dark underbelly of the internet. I've seen quite a few things I don't care to admit to, but one thing I'll always remember is a site called normalpornfornormalpeople.com. Dot <laughs> com. Because a dot org would be inappropriate, people. <laughs> the first strange thing about the site was that I didn't find it by actually looking for it. It was emailed to me by someone I don't know. The email went as follows. Hi there. Found this site. is very nice. Thought you might like. Normalpornfornormalpeople.com. Pass it on for the good of mankind. Pretty standard issue chain letter, although the URL and the last remark had really piqued my curiosity. I was having a very boring day when I got this, so I made sure my antivirus was working, and then I clicked on it. It was a very average, very generic looking site. It gave the impression that the creators just barely gave a shit about making it look professional. The author seemed to have a very tenuous grasp on English, and on the front page was a long, boring, incoherent rant that I don't remember or have saved. The site had a strange tagline which even today people haven't figured out the meaning of, which was, quote, Normal Porn for Normal People, a website dedicated to the eradication of abnormal sexuality. From the sound of it, I wasn't sure I was here to watch porn or if I'd stumbled onto some kind of eugenics program, but here I was now, and I was very, very curious to see what normal people get their rocks off to. So I scrolled down through the rant and nothing. The page didn't seem to link anywhere else, and I was about to leave when I noticed every word of the rant was its own hyperlink. So I clicked one of them, and was sent to a white page with a very long list of links in the form of normalpornfornormalpeople.com slash random letters. So I stopped for a minute and asked myself if I really wanted to waste God knows how much time clicking random links that will likely just give me a virus. I figured I'd just try it for maybe five minutes, just to see if anything came up. I clicked one of the links and was sent to another page. This page apparently had totally different URLs from the last one. I was about to say fuck this when I clicked on the third link, and a video <laughs> download came up. too far in now. <laughs> <laughs> it was called peanut.avi. I it was a 30-minute video of a man, a woman, and a dog in a kitchen. The woman would make a peanut butter sandwich, and the man would set it down for the dog to eat. This was all that happened for 30 minutes. It was obvious that the cameraman had to stop filming and wait until the dog was ready to eat again, and the dog seemed rather sick by the end of it. I know what you're thinking, what the hell does this have to do with porn? I have no clue. I've seen a little over two dozen videos from this site, and the majority had no sexual activity at all. After watching Peanut.avi, I went on a certain image board I frequent to play online show and tell, like I always do with the weird shit like this. But someone had already made a thread about it, some guy who had received the chain letter that I did. The image board thread got lots of people with nothing better to do to dig through the site, and that's how I saw other videos. Most of the two dozen videos were very eventful, consisting of people talking to the cameraman in a room with nothing in it but a desk and a few chairs. I mean literally nothing on the walls or in terms of furniture. The whole room had a very cold, sterile feeling to it. The conversations were just idle banter about previous jobs or 
embarrassing childhood moments. I kept expecting some kind of discussion about what the people were filming or what the site was about, but of course nothing. You would never know these videos had anything to do with porn if you saw it out of context. I will say one thing though, the people who appeared in these videos were quite attractive. However, the other videos that actually did feature content, content, which I suppose could be called sexual, is where things got weird. I'll give brief descriptions of the stranger videos. If you're really eaten up out of curiosity, you can try to hunt them down on a torrent website. LickedClean.avi, a 10 minute video filmed by a hidden camera in which we see a repairman working on a washing machine for the first two minutes. When it's fixed, the repairman talks to the owner briefly, and then leaves. The owner checks to see if the repairman is gone, and he begins to lick all over the top of the washing machine. This goes on for seven minutes. Jimbo.avi, a five minute video of an obese mime performing his act. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Particularly one part where he pretends to pull up a chair, then pretends that it breaks because of his weight. In the last 30 seconds of the video, the camera cuts to static briefly and cuts back to the man sobbing quietly, still wearing mime outfit and makeup. Some kind of obscure fetish? Diana.avi A four minute video in which the cameraman talks to a woman in a different room, in, in a room different from the interview room. This room looks like one you'd find in a normal person's house. Exactly where they are is never specified as Diana only talks about her violin playing. She obviously plays her violin, but she keeps getting distracted by something else. I didn't notice this until someone on the image board thread pointed it out, but if you look at the mirror in the background, you can see a fat man in a chicken mask masturbating. Oh Jessica.avi Another four minute cameraman video, this time he's outside a house, talking to another young woman. They talk about canoe rides. The camera zooms out to reveal the city streets behind them occasionally. The strange thing is, no one so far has been able to identify where this street is. Guesses have been made, ranging anywhere from Europe to Australia to the Philippines. There's yet to be a match for the street shown in the video. Tongue-tied.avi, a 10 minute video. The first five minutes consist of an elderly woman making out with a mannequin. The video cuts out like it did in Jimbo ABI halfway through, and the scene is now a group of mannequins huddled together in a circle around the camera. The lights have been dimmed and the elderly woman is nowhere to be seen. From this point on, there's no sound. Stumps.avi Five minute long video where a man with no legs is attempting to break dance on a DDR mat in what looks like the kitchen from peanut.avi, oh but much dirtier. There's a radio playing music unseen in the background, but it stops at the four minute mark when the man collapses on the mat in exhaustion. He breathes heavily and pleads with someone off screen to let him rest. This off screen person becomes terrifyingly enraged and yells at him to keep dancing, which he does. You can hear the off-screen person begin to scream as the video ends abruptly. Privacy.avi The woman from Diana is masturbating on a mattress in the interview room, while the man from Stumps AVI walks around on his hands while wearing some kind of goblin mask. The door in this room was always closed in the other videos, but now it's open. In this video, the only light is in the room, and the hallway is dark. Near the end of the video, you can see an animal quickly run through the hallway. And finally, the last video we uncovered, useless.avi. In this 18 minute video, a blonde woman from one of the previous interview videos is tied down to a mattress in the interview room. She, she attempts to scream, but her mouth is taped over. After seven minutes, a man in a black suit and mask opens the door, but he does not enter. He holds the door open for the animal that was running in the hall in the previous video. It's revealed to be an adult chimpanzee. His hair is shaved and his body is painted red. 
When the chimp enters the room, the masked man closes the door behind it. The chimpanzee sniffs the air for a moment. It may have been blind. It notices the woman tied to the mattress. It goes into a frenzy and begins to maul her. The assault goes on for a grueling seven minutes until the woman finally dies. The, chimps, the chimp eats flesh from her corpse for four minutes as the video ends. The thread exploded with activity after this video was uncovered, and people discussed it long into the night. When I came back to the image board the next day, I found that the thread was deleted. I tried to start another one and they banned me. I tried emailing the guy who sent me the chain letter with the site's URL, sent him five messages, and never got a response. I tried to discuss this website on various places and I got banned frequently. The site itself was also deleted about three days after useless.avi was uncovered, likely because someone contacted the authorities. The only proof that normalpornfornormalpeople.com ever existed was a few screen caps people took, and videos from the site that people saved and uploaded on torrents. The most popular of them being useless.avi found its way onto a few gore sites. Wherever you upload them to, all of the videos from normalpornfornormalpeople.com get deleted. And that's it. It was written by a Cosby Daff? Cosby D-A-F. Cosby, you sick bastard. Cosby, you bastard. Boy, that's a strange one. Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> Whew. Shit gives me the chills, though. You know, the craziest thing is, you know, with some of these types of uh, stories, you know, some of them could have actually happened. Who knows? You never know unless you were there. But I digress, and that's probably the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed it um i hope that it was appropriately creepy thank or at least watching. amusing thank you for watching like subscribe. subscribe give us a comment down below press the alert button make sure you press the alert button yeah, yeah yeah press all the buttons if you can actually except for the dislike don't press that one don't press that one mm -hmm. we'll catch you in the next video see you later bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs>